<laughs> Hi, everybody. I am Patricia Diaz Rubio. I'm the executive director of Wikimedia Chile. And today I'll be presenting you the results of the first Wiki advocacy meeting that we had in Santiago last May. Okay, this is the structure of the presentation. I'll be first explaining you what was the adv Wiki advocacy meeting, who participated, and which were the participants' thoughts about this meeting. Uh, I also will be sharing some analysis that we as organizers um, did after the event, what we learned from the event. And we will also um, present some, some very concrete proposals on how we think that we should continue working together in this topic. Okay, so the first Wiki Advocacy meeting uh, was uh, a meeting that happened in Santiago that was hosted by Wikimedia Chile and was a meeting to discuss the um, what advocacy means within the Wikimedia movement. Um, we realized that not everybody was having the same understanding of what doing advocacy um, could look like, could looks like yeah, within the Wikimedia movement. The goals of the meeting was, uh, first of all, identify the main social, technological, political, but also social, I'm oh, sorry, already say social, <laughs> concerns um, or our threats to our movement, the things that are happening like right now. Uh, but we also wanted to um, build advocacy capacities among Wikimedians. And finally, but not uh, less important, shape and strength a global wiki, wiki advocacy network. Um, well, the meeting was held in two days, uh, just like I said, in Santiago, and uh, we uh, navigate through this meeting um, uh, with five uh, main group activities, five um, facilitation or uh, five like moment moments where we could discuss these topics. We explored the fishbowl methodology that helped us to identify our current concerns as a movement. We also invite participants to share their advocacy stories to identify how everybody is working around these topics around the world. Uh, we also introduce the open space uh, methodology to promote collective work around specific topics that participants uh, brought to the table. Uh, we also um, like work a little bit like collective initiatives to improve. We ask people how they, they, they thought they, they could, we could improve the advocacy group to draw together our future. And we also talk about the next steps to determine how we can, uh, we can keep working together. So that's a picture of us doing some work. <laughs> Uh, okay, who participated? Who came to? Who 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 was part of this meeting? Well, that's a beautiful picture of some of us. Um, we made an open call for participants and for Wikimedians and also for regional digital rights advocates that were um, that had some experience. Uh, working in this topic, and uh, we received more than 60 applications from different uh, regions of the world, and we select a group of 36 participants who receive a full scholarship to assist to Santiago. Uh, just like I said, the main criteria were like having a, a particular experience on the advocacy field. We really wanted that everybody was a little bit in the same page before like having these conversations. And also, um, we think we thought a lot about the geographical diversity to trying to have people from different, from the eight different regions that um, Wikimedia Foundation uses as a criteria. So uh, this is a little bit like. Um, uh, how the map of the of the meeting uh, looked like. Uh, of course, we have a lot of people from Chile. You know, we're not like <laughs> necessarily wanted that, but it happened in that way. But also for Italy, Argentina. Well, you can see all the um, different countries that were present in our meeting. Okay, after the meeting. Uh, we launched a post-event uh, survey, and where we asked participants like practical things, you know, like um, how do you evaluate the food, the venue, you know, like the, um, I don't know, the, 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 does the team like really did the team really support you during the event? But we also asked them um, how they saw the meeting, how they uh, how they evaluated what we did, and if we accomplish or not the main goals that we had in the beginning, right? So um, we uh, learned that the participants really value, well, first of all, the sense of community, 
realizing that they are not alone doing this advocacy work uh, in their different contexts, that there is a lot of people doing the same and mostly a lot of people facing the same challenges. Um, and also something that um, I think is more and more current after the pandemic, like the opportunity to meet. They really value the opportunity to meet face to face, in person, which is something really relevant in building trust process um, among a group that is very uh, diverse, not because uh, we are coming from different parts of the world, but because we are also have different profiles within our own movement, right? They are people that, it's, that are doing advocacy more in like professional way, like myself, I work for the movement, but also volunteers who are doing capacity, sorry, that are doing advocacy activities uh, according to their um, volunteer capacities. Um, and well, we and something that we also ask participants, it's uh, not only how they saw the meeting, but also if they learned something in particular. And um, again, they, um, they recognize that uh, advocacy is a broader concept that everybody thought, right? Um, that for different reasons, uh, the Wikimedia model urged for the protection, maybe more than ever. Um, that even, even though we, after this meeting, we realized that we have the people, we have the muscle to do it, uh, we must consider our different profiles, just like I said, and also our different expectations um, as a group. Uh, we learned, for instance, that some uh, participants were more interested in strategic conversations about what advocacy means, but other participants were way more interested in concrete actions. What are we going to do next? And those different profiles, we have to take them in consideration when uh, not only organizing things like that, but things like this, but also when we um, are proposing concrete um, advocacy actions. Okay, so that was like, um, what was the meeting and who uh, participated? Now I would like to share with you some of the things that we learn as organizers. Okay, so um, we analyze all the conversations that we had during those two days, all the etherpads, all the post-it, all the um, collective notes that people, ta people took during the event, and also uh, the notes that the facilitators took during the two days of the event to create, um, yeah, like a vision that could summarize what happened in Santiago. Uh, and we identify three main concerns during those conversations. First of all, we need capacity building um, in three different um, areas. Legal, uh, people, uh, people pointed out that they need more support understanding certain legal tools, especially for non-lawyers and especially in copyright topics that it's, it's not the only thing that we do, but it's a big part of what we do when we do advocacy. Um, also, people wanted to learn a little bit more about the technological trends and, and specific threats to our movement from that perspective. So learning a little bit what's happening, not only with AI, but with other uh, tech conversations around the world, and also having more advocacy tools to make our work easier. Um, we also identified that there's an overall understanding that the Wikimedia model, um, it's, it's not so easy to understand, not only sometimes for us as a Wikimedia members, but of course to others like beyond our like movement. So trying to um, explain the model, what we do, and especially why we're doing it, it's something very relevant or it was something very relevant for participants. And also the relations among the Wikimedia movement, uh, including affiliates, Wikimedia Foundation and volunteers. Um, one of the concerns of the people that was in that meeting was to um, how we can identify who is doing what, who should be doing what, and how to better coordinate among ourselves. So just like I said, in the capacity building area, um, people were interested in these three um, like just topics, legal tools, tools, tech tools, and also concrete advocacy capacities. But also within this concrete advocacy um, 
capacities, we include communication skills. But not only communication skills like, I don't know, noting how to, uh, learning how to contact the press, but also media training or uh, learning how to create a, um, a brief for, uh, for decision makers or also um, creating uh, like good communication pieces. Those, all of those things were like also included in this concrete um, advocacy capacities. Um, all these tools were seen as extremely important to, first of all, approach policymakers, um, greeting other stakeholders, understanding that our work does not end with us, that it's very important to try to trespass our message to other um, civil society organizations, uh, of course, government and public institutions, and eventually even unlikely allies who might help us uh, if, if needed. And also, um, it was very important to be more, um, like be stronger in these capacities to uh, answering re certain requests from other stakeholders, right? We, at least something that uh, we identify the people who participate in the meeting, is that sometimes press, uh, the press, but also, uh, or the media, or some other organizations contact us uh, to better understand something that is happening for, in freedom of um, panorama, or freedom of speech, or even the relationships between AI and Wikimedia, or Wikipedia, so we have to be better prepared to uh, address those questions. And from the explaining the Wikimedia model perspective, which I personally think that it's like the most challenging um, thing that, um, yeah, the most challenging outcome of this meeting, uh, we uh, think that people, I mean, we, we um, understood that people were more interested in, well, clarifying our Wikimedia identity and the role that we can have um, as a movement in like in the current state of things in like the communicational ecosystem, for instance, um, and it's important for us to understand what we do and why we do it and who we are to better communicate it to this like other stakeholders. Um, we also uh, realized that people were very interested in learning or at least talking about how we can build a common language upon upon all these things to clarify how we can approach these different stakeholders and also uh, working in something that's very common in the Wikimedia world is working on better ways to documenting and especially to transmit the information that we already are producing in our different contexts, right? Value information, data, um, examples, um, all kind of evidence that we can create for the movement and to find better ways to trespass that information and that knowledge to other colleagues in different parts of the world. Okay, so um, the next steps was the final part of our conversation, how we can keep working together. And uh, in, this, in this part of the presentation, I would like to um, introduce you to some of the um, ideas or proposals that my team has to keep this conversation alive and not losing the, this like energy or momentum. Uh, we really think that, I mean, our goal is that the adv advocacy could become a main topic in Wikimedia like education, like GLAM, like tech, um, and has its own place in our meetings. Um, trying to use different Wikimedia gatherings like this one to have these conversations. Uh, we also propose, are proposing uh, keep our advocacy group, uh, that was basically a telegram group that we create in the context of the conference, or the meeting, sorry, to keep like, to organize ourselves and keep having regular online meetings. Um, documentation sharing, just like I said before, is very important to um, to share and to, yeah, and to 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 spread the world, uh, spread the word. Sorry, uh, around the things that we are already producing. Um, capacity building is something very important, of course, but it's not just about like creating capacity building just because, but supporting the sessions that are already been leading by the global advocacy team, uh, and also proposing some specific topics in the things that people uh, said that were like the most important from them. Right, uh, tech. Um, 
taxations, regulatory tendencies, uh, sorry, trends, um, for instance, are just a few examples of the things that we think that we should keep uh, doing. And of course, working uh, working groups divided by um, interests, different interests, different regions, different needs. Because even though we have a common goal, we understand that our regions and our um, groups or our affiliates might be in different like positions or have like maybe different needs or maybe context, different contexts. So it's better also to be um, open to idea to work in smaller groups. So um, before like saying like the last uh, words that I I prepared for you today, um, I wanted to share the that we all these all these ideas are collected and summarized in a very very beautiful uh, document that Wikimedia Chile produced that is already available on Wikimedia Commons um, for you to download. Fortunately, I was I forgot to put the QR for you to download it, but I could send it to you um, if you if you are interested in to learn more about what we did, what we learned, and our proposals. And before like passing to any question, I will really would like to take the chance to say thank you to the Global Advocacy Team uh, of uh, Wikimedia Foundation that helped us, but mostly to my team. Uh, Carla is here, she's from my team, but also um, everybody else on Wikimedia Chile that was a great, great support. I mean, I did not this like all my, just myself. We are a huge team, so a huge thanks to them. Any questions, any thoughts? Just like Barbara said, good questions, bad questions, hopefully good questions, <laughs> comments, insults. <laughs> yes? I, I, so. Yeah, beyond the document, uh, I want to know your personal uh, conclusion. Uh, for you, which is the priority for the advocacy group to do as the next step? which is the most important thing that we should do next? Um, okay, that's a good question. Um, well, I think that we should be prioritizing one of the three things that people said that was like the more important, right? We, talk, we were talking about um, particular capacity building, uh, we were talking about um, advocacy tools, and we were talking about like, um, Identifying the Wikimedia model, right? Discussing about the the what's the Wikimedia explaining the Wikimedia model. I think that the third um, proposal, maybe it's the more complex one, but I think it's essential to for us to keep like moving to moving forward to have maybe a time to discuss. Okay, what this mean? How we can explain it better? And I think that something that. Um, Frederike from Wikimedia Deutschland said during the meeting, it's like, I think it's important for us to be, to do some wording around like certain topics or certain like words um, that we are constantly using, but we are not necessarily sure that we are all understanding the same for certain things. For instance, public good. What's a public good? What's a, what that really means? It maybe means different things in different contexts. So I know it's hard and probably the best things to try to keep keep it practical, <laughs> but those um, um, more profound conversations, I think that we should also. I mean, that w maybe we should start by by them. Thank you. Thank you, Salvador. No more questions. Ah, ah, you had the same question. Okay. Yes. Gracias. Um, hi, Vita. Um, hi. David from Colombia. I just want to ask you uh, uh, who was not there? Like, what do you, who you imagine that we need to bring to the, the movement or um, that for you was important to be there that still is not in the discussion? Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, thank you for your question. Um, one of the things that we did, maybe I was not clear with that, that we also invite uh, regional digital advocates to the meeting. Um, Latin America in particular, I think it's a region that has a, a good like history of well-recognized organizations that are like promoting very similar values to the, to the ones that Wikimedia model is also promoting. 
uh, we invite different local organizations, not only from Chile, but also from Bolivia and from Brazil and from Mexico and, and Argentina and Uruguay to be present in that meeting. I think that that collaboration was very interesting, especially in the case I was I was forgetting Paraguay. In Paraguay, there's no there, there doesn't exist a, a Wikimedia community. The so TEDIC, the organization that was present in our meeting, it's the I wouldn't say like the only one, but like the main one who is. Uh, pulling a um, digital rights agenda, and we have to work with them in order to promote the Wikimedia values in that territory. Because sadly, there's no Wikimedia organized Wikimedians who are doing that. So I think it's very important for us to uh, not only talk to like among ourselves, but trying to reach other advocates with similar values to um, yeah to join forces. No more questions? No? Oh, no. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. We were like super executive. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.